You don't understand, do you? The yes! Return to your grave, Tyrnoch! Lend me your power! <laughs> <laughs> Child of dust! Lend me your power! Lend me your power! An illusion. Something's not right. Where's... If Gadflo isn't here, then he must be hiding further underground, someplace closer to the source of the Prismere.
try to impress me, you know. Not anymore. Besides, we don't have time. Whatever bargain Gadflo made with Tiernok, it's about to pay off. And when that happens, the world will suffer her wrath. She's imprisoned deep in the Amethyn, but Gadflo's war has weakened her bonds. There's no time to spare. If she gets free, our world is lost. In the heart of Alabastra is the former Unseelie city of Bale. Beneath the Winter King's court, there is the Cave of Amethyn. It's a place of tremendous power. It is where Turnok is imprisoned, and where you died. We were two of the people who were supposed to keep Tiernok hidden from the world. Anyone who learned too much had to die. But when Gadflo found her, you were the one who volunteered to kill him and seal Tiernok away once more, even though you were fated to fail. It took every trick we had to get you here the first time, and you still died. I don't know if you planned to be resurrected, but knowing you, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's go. Tiernok is held captive deep in the Amethyn, but her prison is weakening by the moment. I feel you here again, full of life, full of fate. What have you brought? I can feel Tiernok's eyes upon us. You've used your power well. So much potential. Let's have a taste, shall we? you've stolen and turned it against you. Perhaps it is not inaccurate to think of her as a god. Let Gad flow free, Ternok. the power to stop her.
shame to me. Death was your only fate. But I'm very sweet. And you were so eager to play your role. Now you have returned to grant me mine. Only you have the power to reseal Tirnok inside the Amethyn. I must keep the secret of her existence from the world. Once Tirnok is pushed back into her prison, these cabins must be sealed. But that leaves one question. Can I trust you to keep Tirnok's secret? That is excellent. After all that you've done, it would have been a shame for you to die a second time. If you do escape, I will be watching you. And know this, anyone who learns the truth of what happens here, I will silence myself. Go. Stop Tiernak from fully entering this world. But remember, my blades will always be at your back. Nothing in the world is fated to stop Tiernak. That's why you're the only one who has a chance. I'm just here to make sure you take it. Let's go. There's no turning back now. yourself and seal the fate of your world. It's time to choose your fate. Amethyn lies beyond. This is where the dragon will breach the veil. Come forward, mortals. Behold the birth of Tiernach. Attend your final hour. My fate does not lie beyond those doors. You alone may change what is to come. Go! Welcome back, mortal. 
How does it feel, I wonder, to return to this place? Does the pain of your death still linger? <laughs> Can you feel it echo through the air? <sighs> and now, in this place, you shall witness the birth of Tiernach, the destruction of the Alpha, and the dawn of the endless winter. Tiernok the Powerful, Tiernok the Merciful, Kuala Fela Tiernok, Kuala Sera Tiernok. Tiernok? Uh, have, have I done well, lady? Are you pleased? Is it... You know, have uh, served your purpose. But I... Uh, I have so much more to... Ah! Ah! Come closer. Give yourself to me. Oh! 
How could we have known that this would be a new beginning? I wonder now if we should have foreseen this outcome, but who knew then what fate would bring? I would have liked to have delivered this message in person, to see you one final time. That, however, would have been complicated. The order to which I belong had other plans. Were you ever to leave the Crystalline Fortress? When it comes to you, though, it seems no fate is written in stone. It was only through my assurances that your silence could be counted upon, that either one of us still draws breath. I trust you will not make of me a liar. Were stories of what we have seen to begin to surface in the inns and taverns of Amalur, I would be asked to seek you out. And as we both know, the next time you die, there will be no return. But let us not speak of this. Your life is your own. Go now, and see what fate may bring you, or what fate you may bring. Perhaps one day in happier times, you and I will meet again. Until that day, I remain. Yours, Aelin Shear.
Well, well, awake at last. You gave us quite a scare. But you're here, and the war's all but over. So who are we to complain? I was hoping you could tell us. Sidon and I were fighting a few remaining stragglers when all of a sudden they started this unholy wailing. I guess you must have killed Gadflow, because the Tawatha started screaming and ran away. There are still a few diehards, but they don't have the fire in them, you know? Wasn't much longer before Aelin showed up, carrying you over her shoulder. Told me to watch over you, make sure you were okay. She left some kind of note for you, but I know better than to read a private message from the likes of her. There are still Tawatha who refuse to surrender, but yes, the war is ended. You should have seen the parade in Rathir. As for what's next, well, that's a tough question. See, a lot of the soldiers asked me for readings after the fighting ended, and, try as I might, I can't see a fate for any of us. Tiernok. You don't expect me to think that Gadflow's god was real, do you? No. No, impossible. Whatever happened down there, though, it changed everything. At least for now. First she works with us, then she betrays us, then she saves your life. I admit I don't know what to make of that woman, but I feel like we owe her. Not that I'd know how to find her, or pay her back, for that matter. There are still plenty of Tawatha, but without Gadflow to give them the word of Tirnok, they've gone mad. You've all but ended the war, and you've surely changed its destiny. Every mortal in the Feylands owes you thanks. Sure, there are still Tawatha left here and there, but they've got no leader, and they don't pose half the threat they used to. You should have seen Alabastra at its prime. Serene and beautiful as a sky full of stars. Good morning, ma'am.
pleasure. That Barani oaf leaves mud on the floors every time he comes or goes. Oh, excuse me. There's no consoling her. My lady's beside herself. Here, in House San Juan. She spends most of her time by... And then I say, Miriam, do I look like a gif? You. Stay indoors after sundown. Can you believe those monks? I've got supplies if you need them.
Don't be a stranger. Ah, ah, ah. 